Yeah, right, dick. What are you doing? I'm doing you. Yeah. So what do you even say about it? I don't even say about it. So there you go. Gotcha. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is a kind of dreary morning out in LA. That's a little bit focused there. June gloom. June gloom, even though it is still May. We'll call it Sad Gay May. <laughs> and um, how do you feel, Jake? Ready to go into West Hollywood? I'm very ready. I'm gonna get a job today. He's gonna get a job today because Jake is going to be spending a year in California. Or just the West Possibly Coast. Possibly Oregon. Possibly Oregon. Okay, I'm walking to the gym now and I figured I'd use this as an opportunity to talk about a little experience my friends and I had the other day. <laughs> so recently it was brought to my attention that evidently my friends and I are very obviously uh, strangers to this area. On multiple occasions it has been pointed out that we are very obviously visitors to Los Angeles and people have initiated conversations by saying, hey, you're not from around here, are you? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because we are very obviously not angry and anorexic as are most people <laughs> in this town. Look at dog, hello. He wanted nothing to do with me. So that's kind of been like a repeated conversation started recently is people will come up to us and say hey you're not from around here are you so a few days ago my friends and I were in a parking garage and we weren't surprised when somebody came up to us and said hey you guys aren't from around here are you I think this time around it was because we were wearing tank tops in like 65 degree weather you're definitely East Coast <laughs> weather trash the only catch this time around is that this man was like 70 years old maybe and so of course my naive ass automatically goes to oh look at this nice man approaching us to have a nice conversation with us a nice innocent conversation because you know what we are boys in our early 20s well I'm 19 for another month but average age 20 and this guy is obviously uh, 50 plus years older than us eventually this guy starts talking about grinder and starts talking about sex stuff which i just thought was normal because i talk about grinder and i talk about sex stuff and of course the conversation got weirder and weirder and weirder but my head was just like oh this is just a normal conversation because all my conversations are weird as hell so eventually this guy invites us back to his hotel room and immediately my one friend was like all right no we're leaving have a nice day and that's the story of how i met my boyfriend after the fact, it was explained to me that he was cruising us and trying to pick us up. But I was thinking, like, even when he invited us to his hotel room and I thought the conversation was still innocent, I wouldn't have gone. I don't know who this man is. I mean, sure, in my head, I was thinking, oh, look at this nice old man inviting us over to his hotel room to play Scrabble. Some boggle, why don't you? And it got me thinking, does this technique actually work for this old man ever? I couldn't imagine any situation where I would go back to a hotel room with a stranger, let alone one that was about 40 to 50 years older than me. But I guess that's the nature of LA, and I bet you it's either worked for him before or he's persistent, you know? There's something to be said for someone who's persistent in his technique. You go, weird old man, for never giving up on your dream. I just met up with Jake. Say hi, Jake. Hello. And uh, we are headed to Runyon Canyon for the second time to go walk up it because we have nothing better to do. Well, right. What? That was not on purpose. You mean? How's your day been? It's been Pretty good. I've been walking into a bunch of places trying to get applications and see who's hiring. And I was really excited because I had this one place and it sells like sex clothing and they were really nice. And the one guy, I bet I think he thought I was cute because he was all like really helpful. And then I went back and they the job was filled. And I was like, tears. Well, little do they know that they're missing out on the cutest, most fun, most best employee they could possibly have. Thank you. Me. Oh, if any of you have a job and you're in LA, and need, I will do whatever you want. So. I'm also going to use this as an opportunity now to promote something that I started using. You're right. Please, <laughs> uh, please go download the Periscope app. It is a new app where people do a uh, live broadcast from their phone. You can follow them, you can watch my broadcasts. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing now, uh, probably very consistently also. I wanna make my first live, real, scheduled Periscope broadcast a thing, so uh, download the Periscope app. And uh, on Friday at, let's say, 8 p.m., uh, Eastern Standard Time. No, no. At 8 p.m. Uh, Western Standard Time. Uh, do you have something to say? No. <laughs> I will be on the Periscope app to uh, do a broadcast, a live broadcast, where you guys can come talk to me, ask me questions, what have you, and they will become a very kind of frequent thing that I do. News. An even more exciting Periscope thing will be happening at the same time in the same location. Another Under one by mine. me. <laughs> I'm going to do one. It's going to be better, more beautiful. <laughs> we'll see you by then. Yeah, rain. <laughs> How could yours even be better? It was not even sketchy. How can you even do it if you didn't even say it? Gotcha. We are probably so annoying. <laughs> anyway, for now, please go download the Periscope app and uh, prematurely uh, follow me so we can uh, connect through that medium. Thank you. Hello, Neil. Hello. Hello, August. Hello. Hello, Jake. Hello. Hello, me. We are at Neil's place right now, about to play some Mario Kart. Jake and I just got done walking around for the day. Yeah. 
Are you beat? I'm beat. Are you pooped? No, I never poop. That's not precisely what I was asking, but thank you for your you input in regards it. to that anyway. Okay, and now the day is coming to a close. We have Janine joining us hi. now. Hi. Say hi again, August. Hello. Say hi again, Neil. Hi. And no one wants to listen to Jake speak. Hi. Just kidding, Jake. How about, um, No, you... it's too late. Wait, what? I've moved on. I've raised the bar by my penis. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, even if you didn't like it. Give it a goddamn thumbs up. Anyway. anyway. Anyway, yeah, yeah. it was completed. We got it. And uh, leave me a comment, as always, in comment form. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time. <laughs>